Novak here for Young Hollywood. I teamed up with Ant Farm star Sierra McCormick. We are at the Gentle Barn. Let's go hang out with some of our friends. I am here with Sierra McCormick, the star of Ant Farm. Create a diversion. Got it. <laughs> Ellie Lass, the star of The Gentle Barn. Well, there are some stars here today. There's a lot of animals here who are the stars today. First of all, can you tell us sort of how The Gentle Barn got started and, and how you got involved in it? Sure, The Gentle Barn was my dream since I was seven years old. I'd bring animals home when I was a kid and my, my parents would get rid of them and say, you know, no more animals. And I'd say, oh my God, how can you do this to me? And they'd say, well, when you grow up, you can have as many animals as you want. So. We now have 160 animals at the Gentle Barn. <laughs> and obviously you're an animal lover. Yes. I have a dog at home named Princess Annie and um, I rescued her from Adopt-A-Pet and she's just the sweetest little girl that I could have ever hoped for and I've been wanting a dog for so long but we were living in LA and it was like a small apartment. I didn't want to do that to a dog, make him be in this little cramped space. So once we moved out, over in here in this area and we had a large house and a big backyard and we were like we need we should get a dog now so we adopted one and she was a rescue and she's so sweet and I love her and then um, I have a fish too. Basically what you do is you rescue animals that have either been abused or neglected. Where do you find the animals and how do you how do you bring them here? We purposely seek out animals that no one else wants. So the other rescues won't take in the kind of animals that we take in. We bring them in and we rehabilitate them with acupuncture, chiropractic, deep tissue massage therapy, ultrasound, ice therapy, energetic healing, nutritional supplements, and lots of love. You take humans? <laughs> Can I enroll? <laughs> it sounds good. It sounds better than my life. It's good. <laughs> so I know you're going to take us around mm -hmm. and you're going to show us, introduce us to some of the animals today. Who are we, who are we going to meet? We are going to give tummy rubs to the pigs. Uh, we're gonna hug the cows. We're gonna feed the horses carrots. Um, we are definitely gonna be cuddling with the turkeys. It's gonna be fun. Should we go do it? Yes. Let's go. Let's do it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> Ready to go in? I'm so. Are you excited? Yes. I'm so oh excited. God. This is like for me. This is like meeting celebrities, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I've never met a goat before. Maybe we'll meet a Johnny Depp goat inside. Or a James Franco goat. <laughs> James Franco would be good too. So that's Rosemary. Rosemary. Yeah, she's concentrating on the corn, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rosemary came in with a whole bunch of goats from uh, a horribly abusive situation. It took a really long time to heal their bodies. They were very, very, very sick. And then after months of saving their lives, then we had to heal their hearts, which is always the hard part. So it took a long time. But as you can see, Rosemary now trusts people. Do you, do you think your cast members on Ant Farm believe that you do this on your day off? <laughs> Probably not, because I don't know what they're doing. Um, they're all pretty busy, so. Definitely I'm not like... anything as fun as this. This is uh, Braveheart. Oh. Braveheart would be terribly rude if I picked you up. No. Can I pick you up for one second? This is Braveheart. Somebody found him wandering around the street and he's brought so him in. He's so soft, dude. You're just a baby. Yes, you are. He's just a little puppy. Little baby. This is our pig, our potbelly pig area. Okay. But um, we have a very old llama that can't eat hay because she lost all her teeth. So then she had to join the potbelly pigs. And then um, Sir Fancy Pants is our turkey, and he's very naughty with the other turkeys. So then we had to put him in here so he would behave himself. So they're hanging out in their mud hole because I wish we could be in there. It's really yeah, hot. I'm, I'm like, jealous, actually. I never thought I'd be jealous of a pig sitting in a mud hole, but I am because it is very hot. Oh, and, and hi. We can't have them do that. And how are you? Hi. Would you like some food? Come on, let's feed the llama. Excuse me, I want some more. <laughs> like, yes. So this is Portia, our girl turkey, and Portia fancies herself like a queen. She says, I'm the queen of the barnyard. She kind of looks down at the end of her nose and yells at all the other animals below. <laughs> and sadly, Portia can't walk anymore. She's only two years old, but she can't walk because her body just got too big. So we made this throne for her, and um, because she's a queen, it had to be bedazzled. Nice dig. And bejeweled, Portia. and so she stays in her throne, and she lords over the animals, and visitors come and pay her their respects. 
and uh, she's got a good setup. Let's go meet Biscuit, you guys. This is Biscuit. He's our biggest pig. He's a thousand pounds. I can't see why. Is this big for a pig, or is this kind of normal? Well, w what actually happens is there's wild pigs, and they're much smaller than this, and yeah. they live about 25 years, and they're very muscular and fast. And basically what happened was people have taken the DNA of wild pigs, and they've genetically engineered a man-made pig for man-made reasons. And so he's a 1,000 pounds because he's basically a man-made animal. Biscuit, we're just here to say hi. Hi, Biscuit. See how his hair is falling out? In the summer, oh, wow. pig's hair falls out so they can be cooler in the summer. It feels like hay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coolest thing I've ever seen, a horse getting acupuncture. I don't know if you can see the little needles. Remember, we take in animals that no one wants. So when we're talking about horses, they're usually horses that are too old or too lame to, sur you know, to carry people. And so they're usually tossed out. And most of the horses that we work with, because they've been ridden so hard, are suffering from soft tissue damage. And so one of the things that we do to treat our horses is acupuncture because it gets the energy flowing, it gets the blood flowing, it gets soft, healthy tissue again, and it works wonders. I want to introduce you guys to my friend Buddha. Buddha's our very, very first cow. And she's probably doled out over 300,000 hugs. 300,000. 300,000 300, and two. Are you ready? And two, yes. We're moving in. Okay. <laughs> She is the wisest animal I've ever met in my life. Probably the wisest being I've ever met in my life. Um, she's my teacher. She, she works with kids in wheelchairs. So there could be 20 kids in wheelchairs surrounding her so they can hug her and pet her and she will not move one muscle until they're taken away. And I'm not holding her. She's completely on her own. I trust her with my life. So I know Sierra, your character on Ant Farm remembers everything. You're like a human computer. <laughs> Are you gonna remember Don't every single thing? <laughs> Are, what, what is your most memorable experience here today? So far, I love meeting Queen Portia, and I love meeting Biscuit. He's so huge. So I know when I go home, I'm gonna go home and watch Ant Farm. But for now, I'm gonna hang out with my friends. Yeah, I just wanna yeah. like, I wanna chill here. <laughs> we still haven't hugged a cow. I think there's still time. There's still time. Let's go do let's it. Let's do it. Here you go. Girl. That's the way you do it.